Hey, Shug. Welcome back to Nisi Girl Tara. I need to get a remote or something. <laughs> so, um, we're here to do the Daily Collective reading for Friday, September 22nd. Happy Friday, guys. Okay. All right. Let's see what we get. If this reading does not resonate, please do not try to make it. Okay. Um, yeah. The energy is good. And the energy uh, start off maybe the week, you know, a little slow, but it's picking up. Okay. I hope you guys are doing well. You're going into the weekend, right? Okay. Then you guys. Let's see. What do we have for the collective? Holy Spirit, angels in heaven. What do we have for the collective for Friday, September 22nd, Spirit? Thank you so much, Spirit. Please give the collective messages that are for their highest good today. Friday, September 22nd. Friday, September 22nd, Spirit. What do we have? For the collective. What's in their highest good? Okay. We have rest and rejuvenate. Okay, it is the weekend, so definitely, well, if you can, because everyone doesn't work, you know, get rest on the weekend. Rest and rejuvenate, okay? Fulfillment of wishes. Okay, that's that nine of cups energy, all right? Financial and material changes. Okay, it's going to be five of pentacles. And deception and envy. It's like the seven of swords. Okay. Bottom of the deck is the spiritual strength card. Okay. It's like the nine of wands. You can do this. Okay. You can do it. You're almost there. Okay. Because the passion ignited card is wands energy. It's right behind that. So you're almost there. Okay. Almost there. Almost there. Don't give up. You're almost there. Okay. Let's get into this. Using a psychic tarot oracle deck. Let's read that message. The nine of wands energy. Okay. Spiritual strength. Almost there. This card is coming forth to give encouragement. And remind you that you have the inner strength to complete whatever you've been working on. The final spirit card represents courage, discipline, stability, and persistence. You may be tired or weary from the struggle. But now is not the time to give in. Instead, tap into all of your inner resources for that one final push to achieve the desired outcome. You've been through so much to get to this point. And even though you may have acquired some scars along the battle, from the battle, <laughs> you're wiser and stronger for it. The enlightenment you've gained will be an invaluable resource. You may also notice that you're experimenting with different things in your life at this time. All of these experiences feed your spirit and offer you knowledge for the future. Okay? Yeah. So, even though you might feel like you've been through it, it was all for your highest good. Okay? Um, everything that you've been through is a lesson, okay, to make you um, a better person. Okay? All right, spirit. Holy spirit. Angels in heaven. Why is spiritual strength here for the collective guy? Please make it clear. Why is spiritual strength here for the collective? Okay, strength card. Leo energy, okay. Having the strength, okay, ten of swords, okay. To close out a cycle, to end something, okay? Yeah. Um, you, you can. You're almost there, okay? Um, it says, where do you find your inner strength? Okay, that's what it says at the bottom of that card. Um, I feel like Spirit is encouraging you to stay with it, okay? You might be getting tired, okay? Yeah, because you've been waiting, three of wands, you've been, you know, trying to be cooperative, you know, you've been trying to be understanding, you've been trying to be a team player, that's <laughs> the energy it was given yesterday, okay, um, and with the Will of Fortune energy, you're ready for some type of change, you're ready, you're ready, 
You're like, okay, okay, God, you know, like, you know, I've been bearing through this, you know, I've been going through a whole lot. This, this has been a lot to deal with, okay? So, the Spirit is like, don't give up. You're almost there, okay? Take get that final, final push, okay? That last final push to close out something, okay? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Because you're waiting. You've been waiting. Okay. With the chariot energy. Mm. To move something forward. To move forward. Okay. Out of fear. Okay. Out of fear of maybe breaking your own heart. Breaking someone else's heart. Okay. You've been waiting to make a change, do something because of fear of breaking someone's heart, breaking your own heart, okay? Spirit's like, you got it? So one final push, one one final push, okay? Nine of swords, you know, it's stressing you out. It's really bothering you. You've been thinking about it a lot. You just can't sleep at night, okay, because of it, right? All right? But with the justice energy, it is the right thing to do, okay? It's the right thing to do, Okay? You're closing out a cycle that you've been waiting to do, okay? And the energy that gave yesterday is that you've been really waiting to do something that's like an unhealthy pattern of yours and it's keeping you stuck, if this is resonating, okay? Yeah, but this is you get, getting that final push, okay, that strength to close out a cycle, put something to rest, something you've been waiting to do because you're ready to move forward, okay? This will produce movement forward with a trade, okay? Because... You fear hurting someone. You fear heartbreak or disappointment. The bottom of the Three of Swords card says, what painful aspect of your life do you need to confront? And when I was looking at this deck before I actually did this portion of the reading, I was like, should I use this deck? I was like, yeah, use that deck. <laughs> that's, that's the energy I got. It's like, yeah, yeah. yeah. So with Jess's being here, Spirit is like, no, that's the right thing to do. The bottom of the justice card says, what needs to be resolved and set right in your life? This is this is what's being resolved. Something is being resolved. And with that final push, strength card, to close out a cycle, to put some to rest, to end a dispute, to end a back and forth, to end a cycle, you do have the spiritual strength to do that. Okay? Because with rest and rejuvenate here, right? That car says this. This car implies that a period of rest, meditation, rejuvenation, and recuperation is in order. It usually comes forward when you're encountering or coming out of a particularly emotional or mentally taxing experience. It has been a lot. The number four in numerology means foundation. So this is a time to heal, to be with your soul, and to continue moving steadily forward. Allowing space just for your reflection is both needed and long overdue. You need a break. Reposing and taking moments for yourself will give you the opportunity to look at a problem or situation instead of being in it. It's a chance to stand back, view your life with clarity and renewed appreciation and see where changes can be made to create a healthier and stronger foundation, enabling you to take your next step. You taking a step back from a situation will allow you to see the truth in it and how to move, okay? So let's see. Why is rest and rejuvenation, rest and rejuvenate here for the collective? Holy Spirit, angels in heaven, please clarify. Yeah, listen, the four swords that came out. It says, what aspect of your life needs rest and healing, okay? The four swords, right? With the seven of cups. Because 
constantly thinking about a situation, worrying about a situation, it's draining you nine of wands. So you taking a step back from a situation, you not being submerged in it will allow you to really see it, okay? And know how to move out of it or move with it, okay? Yeah, the sun card, it will illuminate, okay? The sun card illuminates, makes things clear, okay? You taking a break for swords will help make things clear, okay? With the page of cups and high priestess, this could be someone saying like, um, hey, I want to tell you something, right? In a loving way, right? It'll give you clarity on how to move forward where you can like appropriately reveal what it is that you are holding internally, okay? And allow for that new beginning, Ace of Wands. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Ace of Swords and the Tower. When you are honest with yourself, that creates the change. Okay? When you are truthful, when you are honest, when you are clear. And you will be clear if you take a step back and allow yourself to rest and rejuvenate. Stepping out of a situation will allow you to see it better. Okay? Okay. Because we have fulfillment of wishes here. Okay? It says this, this card <clears throat> being one, if not the most positive of the minor arcana cards, represents emotional satisfaction, contentment, and enjoyment. Your wishes are coming true. Are you ready? Happiness, success, good health, completion, and accomplishment of your dreams and goals are in the palm of your hand. This card acts as a reminder to hold on to the benefits. Look, look, hold on. Don't give up. You're almost there. Hold on to the beneficial feelings from accepting and receiving what you've asked or strived for. Know that these will assist you in the future when you may need inspiration and positive energy. This is the right time to heal those past memories that have been holding you hostage. Forgive others and yourself so that your wishes, desires, and goals have a clear, unobstructed path to your heart, soul, and life. Take a step back. Stop. Take a step back. Who do you see? <laughs> right? Seriously. Fulfillment of wishes. Why is this card here for the collective sphere? Please make it clear. You're getting something. King of Pentacles. Okay, yeah. King of Pentacles. Stable king, okay? The uh, reliable king, okay? There's some type of change coming when it comes to investment. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it came out. Yeah. Three of Cups. Okay, this is about coming together. Okay, something is coming together. Well, for how long? That's what you said? You said for how long? That's, that's what you said? Okay. For the long term, Seven of Pentacles. Mm -hmm. yeah. Eight of Cups and the Empress. Someone is leaving the past behind and search for new horizons. The Empress energy is about fertility, growth, expansion, abundance, right? All of what life has to offer, right? Yeah. A new beginning, Ace of Pentacles. Okay? So, your wishes are being fulfilled. Okay? As soon as you step back from a situation, you can clearly see how you want to move. Okay? You can clearly see what direction you want to go into. Um, what's best for you. Okay? Because fulfillment of wishes is here. All right? Something is coming together for the long term. Okay? Financial and material changes is here. <clears throat> and it says this. 
The number five physical card represents changes, challenges, and losses, usually related to material or financial concerns. You may be losing some of the things you, around you, but you must acknowledge and know that besides existing as a physical being, you're an incredible and resourceful spiritual entity. Use your powerful forces within to help you through this difficult period. Everything changes for a reason, and this time isn't meant to be a punishment. Know that your current conditions will transform for the better. A positive question to ask yourself now is, what did I learn from this and how can I avoid it in the future? Remember that there are lessons to be understood in everything. It's up to you and you alone to decide how long it will take for you to learn them. Right? Mm -hmm. So something that you wanted, okay, <laughs> is coming your way. Right? <clears throat> it may involve some type of financial or material changes. Okay? Why is this here for the collective? Someone may be going through some type of financial or material changes. And with this deception and envy card behind it, they might not be honest about that. Okay? Yeah. The Page of Cups and the Star. You might get an apology from someone. Okay, to heal a situation, okay, to make things better, to recover with the star energy, okay, someone you've been through the ringer with, okay, um, someone you have experienced a lot of ups and downs with, okay, yeah, eight of swords, um, someone who may have felt restricted, someone who may have felt like they had no other options, okay. With the hermit energy, okay? Um, someone you might not have, like, even spoken to. They could have ghosted you. Um, it's just kind of out of nowhere. You haven't even talked to or whatever. With this Ace of Swords energy, you're going to get some truth, clarity, and understanding, okay? This could be around financial or material changes, okay? And with the Tower energy and the Knight of Swords, yeah, they're... Definitely can be some sudden changes um, because maybe these financial and material changes are making someone. Um... <laughs> Listen, I was going to say it, but it came out. See things differently. <laughs> yeah. With the hangman energy. Yeah. They're seeing things clearly now. Okay. Queen of Swords. All right. And they know what decision they need to make. Okay. Yeah. They need to close out a cycle with the world energy. Mm -hmm. If they want to accomplish anything, six of wands. Okay. So this is someone who at one point might have felt stuck or restricted. Okay. But they're coming to apologize. Okay. To mend something, to heal something. Okay. Um, because I feel like they understand now. They see things differently. Okay. The financial material changes could have assisted in helping someone see things differently. Um, and I think we saw earlier in the week um, someone experiencing some type of deception or sneaky activity when it comes to their finances. Okay? Yeah. But they're closing out a cycle so that they can accomplish something. It's like they see it clearly now. Yeah. Okay. Because we have deception and envy. Yeah. Nine of Swords and a Fool, Two of Cups, okay? Yeah. Yeah. It's like someone someone who um, could have even sabotaged an opportunity because of uh, just not following the room. Mm -hmm. yeah. We have Deception and Envy. And that card says this. Water. Sorry, guys. A lot of talking. All right. It says, to be forewarned is to be forearmed. This card comes at a time when individuals or conditions aren't what they appear to be. Mm -hmm. How well do you really know the people around you? Are they telling you everything? 
you need to know. In business, make sure you gather all the necessary information so that you're aware of and understand all of the facts before continuing. You've worked hard. Don't let others take from what you found out. You've worked hard. Don't let others take from you what is rightly yours. Unfortunately, some people may be envious of your accomplishments. This card also represents a time of sudden and unexpected changes or when plans that you're undertaking may not turn out exactly the way you envision. Have a plan B as a fallback strategy to prevent future problems. Use this card as a reminder to be prepared. It's better to be safe than sorry. Okay, so, sorry guys. Let's see why this card is here, okay? Why is the section of envy here for the collective spirit? Mm. Someone wants to work on a relationship, okay? They want to get on the same page now. They want to be cooperative. Hmm. Yeah, when it comes to the relationship, four of wands, okay? Home, stability, structure, what you want, I want. I want to work on that, right? Okay? But there's something they're not telling you. Seven of Swords. Seven of Swords, yeah. They're not telling you some things, you know. To be forewarned is to be forearmed. You're being told now, okay? With the Knight of Cups and the Devil. Someone's coming forward, telling you all of what you want to know. Why? It's something they're not telling you. Maybe because they're experiencing some type of financial changes, okay? And they're broke. I don't know. Why is deception and envy here for the collector? Why is deception and envy here for the collector? It's like now someone wants to work on things. Why is deception and envy here for the collector? Yeah, the magician, okay, is someone, um, mm -hmm. mm. okay, this can be someone saying, hey, I created this jealousy, this mental conflict, this, this tension between us. And I want to heal it, okay? I want to heal things, okay? I'm being honest. I'm making a decision. I'm going to change. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You're my wish fulfillment. I've been thinking a lot about the past, my past actions, and I have clarity now. I know what needs to happen. I know what I want to do. I know what... Why is the section of envy here for the collective? It's someone that wants to get on the same page when it comes to a relationship or a foundation. Um, because the magician energy, they might feel like they created some type of turmoil between the two of you. Why is the deception and envy here for the collective? Please make it clear, Spirit. With the Hermit energy, Six of Cups, and the King of Wands is someone who is thinking about a lot about their past actions. They might come to you and say that. Okay, I've been thinking a lot about my past actions and what I created, and I want to get on the same page now. I want to work on things. But it's something that they're not telling you, okay? With the Tower energy, you'll learn what it is that they're holding back. Ah, I love Tarot. I do, I do. Tower with the Page of Swords and the Four of Pentacles. They're holding back from something. Mm. They made a decision. They made a foolish decision. They made a foolish decision. Yeah.
What did they do? <laughs> like, I want, like, what did they do? Spirit, why is deception and envy here? What is it that they're not telling the collective? What what is what did they do? Something that they regret. Okay? Something that they regret with the five of cups. Someone was given to two situations. Hmm. Why, why, why is deception and envy here for the collective spirit? Hmm. Okay. There's someone that is communicating because they want to be the emperor energy is like they want to take ownership um, they want to uh, they want to take ownership of what they created okay like jealousy the back and forth the envy the the mental conflict the gossip the the talks so you know what i'm saying whatever Whatever's been said, even, or arguing, or whatever, they created it because they've been given to two situations. Mm -hmm. Someone's reflecting on their past actions. They want to go on the same page now because they've been reflecting on their past actions. And they realize that they created a situation. This is all they're doing. They have a lot of regrets. And they're communicating because they want to take ownership. They're stepping up and they want to take ownership. They are responsible, okay, for this, okay? Mm. Is this person being genuine, Spirit? Okay. Is this person being genuine? You might have been waiting to move forward on something out of fear of hurting someone, but Spirit is saying it's justice. Is it? Is this person being genuine, Spirit? Holy Spirit, angels in heaven. Is this person being genuine? Or are they being sneaky? Is this person being genuine? Holy Spirit, please make it clear. Sexuality, narcissist. It says someone is still figuring themselves out. Okay? Someone is not sure. You know? They're not... They're still figuring themselves out. They're not ready. Okay? With narcissists on the bottom, it says someone is too full of themselves. Okay? They're too full of themselves. They, they're more so... Um, They're trying to get something from a situation. They have still a lot of growing to do. So, you might have been waiting to do something, but it might be time to move forward on it. You might have been fearing hurting someone, but it's right. You know why it's right? Because they've been given the two situations anyway. That's what I have for you, Shay. I hope this helps. We have a king of pentacles here that wants to bring something together for the long term. 
This King of Wands has been given the two situations. Okay? Now they want to apologize. Now they're seeing things different. Now they want to close out a cycle and get some type of success, but why? Because your financial and material changes are happening? Mm -hmm. Take a step back from the situation so you can see, clearly see it. There's a new opportunity here. This person is not ready. They're not. You just have to accept that. That's what I have for you, Shiv. King of Pentacles or King of Wands. The King of Pentacles is ready for something more solid. <laughs> okay, <laughs> just saying, just saying, just saying. And that's under the wish, the fulfillment of wishes card. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Okay, <laughs> so that's what I have for you, Shiv. I hope this helped, and I look forward to seeing you guys soon. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Miss you guys already. Bye. <laughs>